everyone, it's Katie from page 607 and today I'm going to be reviewing A Little In Love by Susan Fletcher. So this is a book that I picked up in WH Smith. I had a WH Smith book token and um, I was just like browsing through the young adult section. Uh, I'd got already a stack of books but I found it was half off on all of them. It was like three for two and then half off as well. So I had loads of books to get and um, I just saw this on the bottom shelf of the like stand at the end and I saw that it said Eponine's story from Les Mis, and I love Les Mis, and I love Eponine as a character. I think she's really relatable because um, friend zoned. Um, but anyway, uh, and I just thought it was, and I also love that it's got red around the edges. I just thought it looked really intriguing and I wanted to know what it was about. So a basic summary of it is it's about Eponine from Les Miserables. I haven't actually read the uh, complete Les Miserables book, but I've um, I've watched the musical many times, and I've watched the film too, although I much prefer the stage musical, but yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to go into that on this video. Um, so it's about Le uh, it's about Eponine from Les Mis, and how um, when it's like pre the book, uh, pre the, yeah, no, no, pre the musical and off and to the end of her part in the musical because I don't want to give any spoilers. So it just goes through everything that she went through um, from the beginning, from like from her childhood to when she grows up and where she lives it, at the pub in Montfermeil, I think. Montfermeil? Um, is that what it's called? I don't know, I can't, I can't really speak French, so. Um, Rue de la Chambrerie. That was a really bad friend. Yeah, Montfermeil is where they lived, and then the move to Paris, and what she went goes through with Cassette, who's a little girl who comes to live with them, um, and it just goes through everything that she goes through growing up. So the like the main themes of the book, because I've kind of gone through literary theme wise through it, is about the innocence of childhood, because Eponine, her family all are criminals, and she doesn't like it. They have a pub, and so they get all, they basically what her and dad do is get all of the customers really drunk and then steal from them. Like, they steal their jewels and their money from their pockets. Um, and, but Eponine doesn't lie that, she has to do it because her parents tell her to, um, and that's how they get money, but she hates it and she doesn't want to do it. And I guess it's kind of also the nature nurture debate as well, because um, she's been like she's been brought up that way to do that, but it's not in her nature to do it. So it's what what makes you you? Is it where you grew up and who you grew up with, or what's just inside you and how you feel? I guess another theme of the main book, because it's all about that, is just growing up in general and what someone goes through going through, like growing up and becoming a teenager and eventually an adult and what people go through in that period of their lives and also just love Eponine she doesn't fall she falls in love but it's complicated it's that, that would be their relationship status on Facebook it's complicated um because he's in love with someone else and he doesn't see her as a, a love interest he sees her as a friend or just she's just a girl he knows really he doesn't speak to her that much um, but she, Eponine falls in love with this guy who doesn't reciprocate. So it's about love, growing up, nature versus nurture, childhood innocence, all that kind of things. They're all in this novel. So I bought it, and I I love I love the story of Eponine and Lamez anyway. So I I was pretty expecting it to be a good book, and it was. It delivered completely. I loved it. It was. It's told from Eponine's point of view throughout the whole book. Um, and just kind of like her interior monologue of what's happening in her life, what she's going through. And I just loved it. Just, I loved hearing the Eponine voice and being able to relate to that voice because like I've sang Eponine songs so many times and then it's kind of reading her thoughts. It's really weird to be able to think, well, this is a song that she sang and then this is the song that that moment relates to and what she's going through in that musical and the play. and. I just loved it. Um, I'm just going to talk about the actual presentation of the book. It's so beautiful. Like, firstly, the red around the edges. Ah, um, red's like a main, like the like, lame is colours is like red, white, and black, blue, and they're all in the book. Like, so her face is really white, and then the, like the blue surrounding her. It's got the flags, and then throughout the book, these like flowers on the front. They um, they have like little chapter pages in the book. I'll find one. Um, let me find one. There. Ah, got it. They have like bo like miniature books inside and they all have these flowers on them and they're just so pretty and I just think it's such a beautiful book 
and I really, I really am like a sucker for beautiful books. And um, in the cover, it's got a little because it's called Little in Love. It's um, a little poem called Love. Love. It's almost the smallest word I know. If it was an object, I might drop it or forget it because it's so tiny. But it's not a small feeling, even though it grows from a moment as small as an apple pip. And it's also got the um, the Victor Hugo. Um, the the quotes you know Monsieur Marius I think I was a little in love with you which is one of my favourite quotes from the play and the book and I just love it it's such a good book it's just beautiful so the author Susan Fletcher it's her first actually uh, young adult book and I think she did a really good job with it um, I guess it could be hard going into something like a new genre like young adult because it's so different her other books uh, I think they were adult books they were I think they were fantasy uh, I need to look into that but I'm I might pick some up if um, if they look interesting to me because I just love the way she wrote this and I think it was a really good debut for a young adult for a first time young adult uh, novelist because it, it completely enthralled me I couldn't put it down it was just such a good book um, I'd recommend it definitely to people who enjoy musicals who've watched Les Mis seen the film and enjoyed it um, who like the songs from the musical especially if you like like Eponine as a character or would want to play her at some point um, I wouldn't say you've had to have read Les Mis, um, like the actual first novel, uh, first novel, the actual novel to have to read it because I haven't read Les Mis and I completely understood it. I'd say it'd be probably be best if you do have a kind of if you've seen the musical or watched the film, so you have an idea of the storyline. But I guess you don't have to. Um, I guess if you want to relate it to the like to Les Mis, then you'd need to have seen it or or seen the film. But if you're just reading it as a standalone book and you don't really care about the film or the play, and then, yeah, go ahead, read it. Yeah, I just, I would think it's a great young adult book and I'd recommend it to anyone who thinks, who kind of enjoys, it's historical, it's a historical story because it's set in 1832. Um, so I would say if you prefer modern romances, then maybe it's not the thing for you, but I loved it. I thought it was great. Uh, and to be honest, I am normally one of those people who prefers a relatable book, because, but I suppose for me, Eponine was the kind of relatable character in the novel rather than this time period. So I, I thought it was a great book. Um, and I'd really recommend it to anyone really, but especially people who like musicals or, um, have re like read the, not read the songs, listen to the songs and like the songs from Les Mis. So, uh, this was A Little In Love by Susan Fletcher. I loved it. Um, I think I'm g I'd give it maybe four and a half stars. I'm, I'm a bit tentative about giving it a five star because I think a five star has to be one that I, like, I read in like, I read in one go, but a four and a half star because I absolutely loved it. So um, I'll see you in my next video. If you have any books that you want me to read and review, let me know and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!